Education leaders continue to look ahead to the fall, hoping to create a safe plan to return to school for students and staff. Kaylin Hagwood has more on changes school board members statewide are considering. I met the State School Board Association office. For weeks, state education leaders have been planning for the semester ahead, and now school board leaders across the state are hoping that this survey is going to help further the process. And it is feedback from board members across the state on how they feel their districts can safely return amid the pandemic. And with just over 50% responding, pollsters believe four key things should be considered. Health and hygiene, class size for social distancing, maintaining a physical distance on school buses, and making up for missed instruction. Chuck Sailors leads the School Board Association and is a member of the State Department of Education's Accelerated Task Force. Scheduling is going to have to be creative. To get children back into the classroom, the districts are looking for guidance and the task force is going to be working to give them some flexible options. Finding ways to keep students at a safe distance in classrooms and on school buses will be one of the biggest challenges. Amelia McKee is on the Richland 2 School Board. Yes, I know our superintendent at our board meeting the other night did a dry run, talked about a dry run of school buses and it took hours to run one school bus route with the distance learning, with the, with the social distancing um, components that are in place now. Some school board members believe partial or split scheduling could be helpful. There's also the concern of a lack of internet access in many rural communities, as well as the future of standardized testing. More than 80% of board members polled hope to see the testing put on hold. Sailor says they hope to present the findings to the State Department of Education as they all continue to plan for the semester ahead. Reporting in Columbia, I'm Kaylin Hagwood.